blessings this evening i want to be candidly transparent on a very sensitive inhumane wicked and cruel premeditated act that was organized fueled and is now trying to be funded for a cover-up by the ones who are responsible so stick around for the news in detail in the meantime if you're new to the channel and it is your first time over here please i'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there, so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude intro soon forward So the sun sets on January 13th of this year for the life of this nine-year-old autistic boy by the name of Gabriel King. He lost his life during what um, was rehearsed to be a carjacking in St. James. He was found with his throat slashed from ear to ear inside his mother's car so her butchers passed through and converted that Audi into a slaughterhouse. And um, she played it off like it was done by some random thugs. However, the incident was not viewed that way by smart minds like myself. So it was reported to the St. James Police that about 11.45 a.m. on January 13th of this year, a woman was robbed of her Audi motor car and a child was abducted in the vehicle when the robbers um, drove it away. That child was 9-year-old Gabriel King. The incident happened along a section, a specific section of the Tucker main road that was best suitable for them and their mission to accomplish. It was orchestrated to look like she was um, heading towards downtown Montego Bay while running regular errands, random errands. Her statement was that, the statement she gave to the police was that, while reaching a section of the roadway, um, she shadowed the brake pedal, she slowed down the vehicle. Due to vivid potholes, so her cautiousness um, kicked in and she cut the speed of the vehicle. According to her given statement, by the time she focusedly trying to um, bounce through the potholes, she was ambushed by hard men who then hit her in the face and viciously dragged her from the vehicle by throwing her out. Then they sped off with the car. That was what she told the police. It wasn't as detailed. As I'm outlining it now, but I'm just trying to be as candid and transparent as possible so you all can have a clear understanding of how wicked the heart of a mankind can capriciously become. On that same day of January 13, 2022, sometime in the afternoon, her car was discovered or located along um, the Fairfield Main Road, and when checks were made on close inspection of the vehicle, the lifeless body of her son. Nine-year-old Gabriel King was found inside. Just big sense out of nonsense. Gabriel King was the son of this lady, Amoy Leon Issa. She is the founder and director of Caribbean VIP Limited. Caribbean VIP Limited is a boutique destination management company that is based here in Jamaica with offices in Toronto, Canada. And um, it is the Caribbean's top company for destination events, planning, design, whether you need a wedding, travel planning, etc. Her business operations are mainly concentrated in the Caribbean, but not limited to the region only. It was founded in 2005 by Amoy Leon Issa. And as a businesswoman, some might wonder why would she implicate herself in such a questionable position. But as a child growing up, she wanted to become a, an astronaut. So maybe that is the reason why she's trying to carry out some out of this world activities. Her it's space not right. She still won't go space. Aliens are playing on her emotions. And um, she's the wife of Michael Issa, 
and he is the president and CEO of Secure World Corporation from um, the Ibiscus Group. And the Ibiscus Group is a five-star um, service landscape and design company that has landscape and serves um, several hotels, commercial and residential properties on the North Coast. From day one, the police did not believe that it was an act of random violence and they were looking into every possible reason that could have led to such um, a senseless slaughter. One of the simplest giveaways or calls for concern was that Audi isn't a vehicle that thieves are interested in stealing. It is not too common and the parts aren't high in demand. So um, they are carjack vehicles like Audi and BMW if they get information that the driver is transporting cash or for some other reason apart from wanting the vehicle itself. For example, they would stick up Mr. Chin if they know say Thursday he might carry some money to a bank. They would bank on that. You understand? But obviously they didn't want this car. They didn't want the Audi because they left it along um, the roadway shortly after butchering the child. So the mission was only to get rid of nine-year-old Gabriel King. And um, can you imagine the horrific ordeal this child went through before his death? Seeing his mother being hit in the face during a stage event, then thrown out the vehicle as a part of the skit, then have to be traveling with the evil strangers that was about to close the show because it was all rehearsed. So while investigation progresses, Amoy Leon Issa, the mother, she was placed in protective custody by the St. James Police. Be attentive. I am standing here on the Fairfield Main Road. We're on Thursday, the 13th day of January 2022. Nine-year-old Gabriel King's life was taken away. His body was found with his throat slashed in a blue Audi SUV. Since that time, the team of investigators, they have employed a range of technological, forensic, and cyber strategies in attempting to make a breakthrough in this case. We've collected statements. We've even brought an expert on a motor vehicle of the exact make and model to the one young Gabriel was killed in on that day. Based on what was reported to us, the crime scene was reenacted Several case conferences were conducted by the detectives. Earlier on this year, my detectives made an application for a production order pursuant to Section 21 of the Cyber Crimes Act for the mother of the deceased to give permission to have access to her cell phone. That cell phone has been in the custody of the police since January when this murder took place. On the 6th of September 2022, the production order was granted by the parish judge stating that within 48 hours of the service of the order that the key and communication cell site and other data surrounding the phone be handed over for the purpose of the criminal investigation into the murder of Gabrielle King. Through her lawyers, she is now challenging the order made on September 6. This key aspect of the investigation is subjudicate, and as such, I will refrain from discussing that aspect at this time. Investigations are time sensitive, and the shelf life of some forms of evidence is limited. We were able to close a thousand case in three weeks through hard work, cooperation, and support from our citizens and persons close to the investigation. I would say that from the day of this murder, we, we have been faced with roadblocks, some non-cooperation, and some legal fencing from persons who should be readily assisting with the investigation. I take this opportunity to appeal to the public. I am asking those who can help to support us to provide us with the information that they have. I am appealing to the conscience of that person who has some information that can help to solve this case. To call Crime Stop at 311 or to call the National Intelligence Bureau tip line at 811. The perpetrators of this crime are still walking free. I ask that you find it in your heart 
to come forward and tell us what you know. And the major development this morning into the almost year-long butchering investigation into the death of nine-year-old Gabriel King is that the mother, Amoy Leon Issa, is attempting to use the court to bar the police from accessing data on her phone as part of their butcher investigation. And as you could clearly hear for yourself, head of the St. James Police, Senior Superintendent Vernon Ellis, says the police have been seeking access to the phone since it was entered into evidence in January. He says the court granted the police a production order to compel the mother to give access to the cellular phone. But King's mother, Amoy Leon Issa, has successfully secured an injunction. So the question is, what is she hiding? Which mother would not want justice for their child? And not only justice, but satisfaction, open justice to appease their emotions, swift justice, a speedy process. So why is she trying to deny the reality of her honesty? If you don't have anything to hide, assist the police and bring those men or all who conspired to justice. What is she hiding? People, pick sense out and nonsense again. It is said that the matter will be heard in court tomorrow, so let's see. And SSP Ellis says investigations are time sensitive and the shelf life of some forms of evidence is limited. He also mentioned that despite their best efforts, the police have been frustrated by what he calls roadblocks. The senior superintendent is appealing to the public to come forward with any information that can assist their investigations, any information whatsoever. So, if you did a cut grass for your rabbit and see when the car stop, or see when them run off, say something. Because the perpetrators of King's slaughtering are still at large. And just a reminder, his body was found on the back seat of his mother's car on the Fairfield Main Road on January 13 of this year, a Thursday. His throat was open. In a statement issued through their attorney in March, King's parents said they were cooperating with the police's investigation. The parents bemoaned what they described as misconceptions in the public domain. So leave a comment and make your opinion count down in the comment section. Most importantly, be reminded that if you're new to the channel and it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way so that way you will be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel. And also remember to give this video a like, like always, for YouTube algorithm, blessings and more beatitude. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.